Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Alright guys, show me your best smiley face. And when I'm saying that, I'm talking directly to the chat room right now. I'm asking them to create... Oh, look at all those smiley faces they're making. I remember the first time I ever saw a little smiley face, a sideways smiley, also known as an emoticon. I couldn't figure out what people were doing. I thought it was just uh, gibberish on my screen. Remember, I first got online way back in 1992. And then I asked someone what it was, and he said, put your head to the side. And I looked like this, I'm like, oh, it's a smiley face. A colon and a parentheses, if you look to the side, is a smiley face. Of course, people use different characters to make these smiley faces. And they, they've even gone as far as to make um, you know, art out of these characters. That's also known as ASCII art. Uh, ASCII stands for American Code for Information Interchange, if I remember correctly. And this was a skill that was practiced by many of us in years gone by. In fact, if you look up the original alt.ASCIIart news group, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I'm, I was in the fact, the frequently asked questions. My name made it in there because I was a frequenter inside of there, and people would post their new ASCII art to this news group, and we'd look at it and go, wow, that's really, really cool. I like it. It's neat. And they'd be so creative. And unfortunately, I, I kind of sucked at ASCII art, but I still enjoyed um, making these images on the screen. Now, remember, this is like not in Windows. It's not like a, a you could click on something and see an image, an actual image. You had to, your mind had to create the image around these characters, these ASCII characters, these characters that, you know, could be created on your keyboard and then when put together would assemble something on screen. If you've seen a sideways smiley, if you've seen an emoticon, that's ASCII art at its purest form, just very, very basic. Now, if you want to explore the world of ASCII art, by all means, you're welcome to. It's so much fun. If you go over to Chris.com, uh, he was one of the first people that was involved with the ASCII art movement online, or through the internet at least. The, uh, he's got a handful of ASCII art, and he's continually producing them. In fact, he's gone as far as created ASCII art of Shrek, all the characters from that movie. There's Bambi. There are babies. He's like one of the original ASCII artists out there. If you want to create your own ASCII art and you're not very artistic, you might consider downloading a program called Jave, J-A-V-E. -E. It's a Java application. You, you may need to do a little bit of uh, hackery to get it to work. As long as you have Java installed on your operating system, it will run cross-platform. And with it, inside of Windows, you can take your mouse and you can create uh, designs and patterns and it will create art right there that you can save out as a text file, a copy, send it to a friend in email. The key with ASCII art is, is that you have to use a fixed width font, not a, a variable width font. And the difference between a fixed width and a proportional or variable width font, um, courier new, a period takes, as, it takes up as much space in height and in width as let's say the capital letter P or any other character in that font. Whereas a variable width font like Arial or Helvetica, uh, a capital H takes up this much space, space whereas a lowercase i takes up this much space. Um, so variable width for each character versus fixed width for each character. And ASCII art only mm. works if you're viewing it and creating it in a fixed width font like Courier New or Lucida Console or I think uh, what's the what are the fixed width fonts on the Mac. Well, Courier is certainly uh, one of them. Um, yeah, ASCII art is fun. And if you want to create uh, ASCII art out of an image you already have on your computer, there's a free website that you can go to called, I believe it's Picture to Text. P I T C. Uh, P I C. P I T C. C T, if I can spell it. First of all, you gotta have you have to know how to spell. No, I'm sorry, it's photo to text. F H O T O, the number two T E X T. And uh, now that you've uh, lived through my tripping up of those words, you can get to this website, and in here you can upload any image, and it will create ASCII art out of that image. It's really kind of cool. Uh, but again, in order to send it on to friends, make sure you use a fixed width font or you tell them use a fixed width font like Courier in order to view the ASCII art. Otherwise, it just won't work. So what are your favorite ASCII art resources? Did you create ASCII art back in the day? Do you still create ASCII art? Can you create ASCII art right now? Do you have a website for ASCII? I just love ASCII art. I don't know why. It's just so much fun. It always, I don't know why. Something so simple. I have a simple mind. I'm entertained easily, I guess. 
Uh, anyway, uh, go ahead, uh, post some links, uh, any ASCII art that you may have created, your favorite smiley face, keep it clean, because yeah, there's dirty ASCII art out there, and we don't want to share that with people who shouldn't be looking, because it's impossible, you know, to block ASCII art, because just characters on the keyboard strung together to create an illusion. And of course, if you want to post uh, some favorite single line ASCII art into the, ooh, ooh, wait, 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 here, wait, ooh, ooh, I can do this, here. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna create I'm gonna show you a rose. This is a rose ASCII art. I do three dashes, a comma, three dashes, an apostrophe, two dashes, uh, like I'm using a bracket, and then an at sign. And now in the chat room, what just scrolled up is a rose. That's ASCII art. I, it's it's a simple ASCII art, but it's nice to send if you've got a, a loved one or significant other, wife, husband, whatever. You want to send them a flower through email or through. Um, you know, a chat room, this is the easiest way to do it, is ASCII art, and it's free. <laughs> All right, so anyway, if you've got any questions or remarks or, you know, want to know a little bit more about ASCII art or what other people have learned about ASCII art, go ahead, swing by the chat room, we're here all the time, live.perillo.com.